this is the definitive movie on abortion. Our goal was to get people to come out to the vigil. And we saw a 30% increase in people going to the vigil. One woman was scheduled to have an abortion and her friend took her to see Unplanned on a Friday night. In the Saturday morning, she was scheduled to have an abortion. Instead of going and having an abortion, she stood outside at the 40 Days for Life vigil and prayed for an end to abortion. That's the power of the movie. I think we have to allow abortion to break our hearts. When you come into the room, the patient is on the table already. Um, and then basically you sit down and start the procedure. You may have told that patient your name. And I think deep down inside, I think you know that doing an abortion is not the right thing to do. So you just can't wait to get out of the room, get the next case done, and get out of there with your money. If we don't go out, and pray for an end to abortion and offer alternatives where the abortions happen, we're not serious about abortion. We're making a pretty dramatic claim and not backing it up. The claim is that abortion ends the life of a defenseless human being. And it doesn't do so in, on the bench of the Supreme Court or in some senator's office or in the middle of a presidential debate on NBC. It happens in our neighborhoods in unassuming areas around the corner from our, our churches, our schools, our favorite restaurants. When you know that because you were praying, that place where they used to kill babies is now closed. That's encouraging. When you see people like me or Abby or any uh, facility worker get set free, that's encouraging. When you hear the testimonies of, of the women who are almost to go in and then they give birth to their child, it just makes you, makes you want to do more. 40 Days for Life is an invitation to trust God, to take a leap of faith, to join the one million people who have participated in this effort. And 40 Days for Life is effective because it is founded on the backup goodness and grace of God, of people in prayer, a nation on their knees, a people who are God-fearing and who want to share that goodness with everyone around. So I realized that what I needed to do was reach the hearts of the women going inside. They were the ones making that decision and I needed to find a loving and peaceful way to reach out to them as another human being, not as a protester, but as someone who could reach their hearts and solve that problem that's bringing them there. And so I realized that prayer is the most powerful thing that we have. And he started answering those prayers with lives saved outside on, outside on the sidewalk in front of Planned Parenthood. And, uh, and so I was hooked on 40 Days for Life after my first campaign. The 40 days caught my attention. I'm like, oh, 40 days, that sounds biblical. That sounds like it's from the Bible. And then I found out, oh, it is. This is why we do 40 days. And, and I found out it's prayer and fasting and it's peaceful. And we help women, we help families. And that's what attracted me. It's not some angry protest and yelling at people. It's peaceful. We're going to God in prayer. One of the most precious things about the 40 Days for Life prayer vigils is when we pray, God responds in radical ways. It is such a humbling, it's such a dependence upon Him. And He does things that are even bigger than what we would think to pray for. Of course we are praying that we love these men and women in Christ as well, and that we have an opportunity to share the hope found in Jesus. And we're praying for babies to be saved, men and women to be loved well, abortion workers to be loved well, clinics to close. But there's this whole other aspect that God does through 40 Days for Life. He knits communities together. Any and everybody can do it because it's God's heart. And what God offers is open to everybody. Everybody can pray. And when we pray, we have seen radical things happen. Whether it's an hour a day, an hour a week, an hour a month, whatever it is, it is worthy of our time. It is worthy of our sacrifice. It is worthy of our discomfort. And it's time to take this moment in history and to make it the beginning of the end of abortion. Find the location nearest you at 40daysforlife.com.